welcome to the 2021 Brain and Behavior Research Foundation International Mental Health Research Symposium. I'm Dr. Jeff Borenstein, and I have the privilege and honor of serving as the president and CEO of the foundation. For 30 years, we've held this symposium as a live event in New York City. Last year, because of the pandemic, we moved to a virtual format, and we're doing that again this year. I hope that next year we'll be able to meet in person and add in a hybrid model so that we can have people join virtually as well. Having this model will allow us to continue to reach an even broader audience than in the past. I want to thank you for joining us. The Brain and Behavior Research Foundation is the world's leading private funder of mental health research grants. The foundation funds the most innovative ideas in neuroscience and psychiatry to better understand the causes and develop new ways to effectively treat brain and behavior disorders. These disorders include depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, autism, ADHD, anxiety, borderline personality disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, post-traumatic stress, and chemical dependency. All of our funding comes from private donations. 100% of every dollar donated for research goes to research. Our operating expenses are covered by separate foundation grants. This means that if you give a dollar for research, it goes directly to the scientist for research. Since 1987, the foundation has awarded more than $430 million to over 5,200 scientists around the world. BBRF research grant support investigators working to develop a better understanding of the brain and new treatments, cures, and methods of prevention for psychiatric illness. Research supported by BBRF grants is playing a vital role on some of the most important fronts in the fight against mental illness. I want to give you a few examples. First, the development of rapid-acting antidepressants. BBRF was an early supporter of work in this area, has continued to support research in this area. And in 2019, the first rapid-acting antidepressant was actually approved by the FDA for use in refractory depression. Another example, transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS. BBRF was an early supporter in research on TMS and has continued to support work looking to further enhance the ability of TMS to help people. TMS has been approved by the FDA for treatment of depression and is used in treatment of obsessive compulsive disorder, post-traumatic stress, and potentially chemical dependency. TMS has helped countless people around the world already. Another area is the important issue of prevention. BBRF has funded research looking at the use of choline supplementation in pregnant women in order to reduce the risk of the child ultimately developing schizophrenia and other psychiatric conditions. This is very exciting work and it's ongoing, but has tremendous potential. Another area is the use of stem cells. BBRF has supported research looking at the use of stem cells where the scientists are able to take a skin cell or a blood cell, turn it to stem cells, turn that to brain cells, and use those cells to study the brains of people, comparing people with illnesses such as schizophrenia and autism, uh, comparing those brains to people who do not have illness. This new technique is extremely exciting and actually ultimately could be used as a biomarker to help in the diagnosis and treatment of psychiatric conditions. Another basic area, basic research area that we provided early support is optogenetics. Optogenetics is a way to study the brain 
and is now being used in thousands of labs around the world to help us better understand the brain. And finally, I want to point out uh, exciting work in deep brain stimulation, again, to treat refractory depression. BBRF was early supporters in work in this area. The work is continued. It's almost like putting a pacemaker into the brain to help treat severe depression that doesn't respond to other treatments. The scientists that we support are selected by our scientific council. The scientific council consists of 183 of the top brain scientists from around the world. The scientific council selects innovative ideas that may not be supported elsewhere. In many ways, it's like a venture capital fund, funding new ideas um, that can have a tremendous impact. And one of the key focuses is on young investigators, so who are often the people who have these new innovative cutting edge ideas, but for a young investigator, it's very hard to get other support. The success of our foundation is made possible because of our extraordinary board, led by our chair, Jeffrey Simon. I very much appreciate the ongoing support and leadership of our entire board of directors. Our board continues to make the dream of Connie and Steve Lieber a reality. I also thank Dr. Herb Pardis for his leadership of the Scientific Council and his vision to combine the expertise of the Scientific Council with the generosity of our donors. Dr. Pardis serves as the guardian of our important mission, and for that, we are all appreciative. In addition to supporting research, we believe that it's crucial to share research findings with the public. I invite you to watch the presentations by our nine Outstanding Achievement Prize winners who were selected by special committees of the Scientific Council. Also available to view are, pre are the presentations of three winners of the Pardis Humanitarian Prize in Mental Health. These three extraordinary women are advocates for mental health, and each of them live with a mental illness. They are truly an inspiration to all of us. I also encourage you to view the presentation from the honorary prize winners of the Pardis Prize, who've been acknowledged for their groundbreaking work in mental health. This year's symposium is supported in part by BBRF board member Mary Rubin, board chair Jeffrey Simon, board member Ken Sonnenfeld, Arlene Baez, Alpine Woods Capital Investors, Alchemies, and Synovian Pharmaceuticals. We very much appreciate this support. If you've already made a donation, thank you. If not, please consider making a donation to BBRF in order to support mental health research. As I already mentioned, 100% of every dollar donated goes to the research. Thank you for joining us in our mission to dramatically improve the lives of people living with mental illness by supporting research to develop new treatments, cures, and methods of prevention in order to enable more people to live full, happy and productive lives. Thank you.